Coming up on today's episode, we're making no oil banana bread right out of the book to start solution and you won't believe what the secret ingredient is. Let's get to the intro. Welcome back to another episode of Plant-Based Ads. I'm Joey. If you're new to the channel, we're a vegan family channel. We do recipes, we do product reviews. Sometimes there's some DIY stuff and some baking. If you like what you hear, please hit that like button. Show us some love. And please think about subscribing and becoming part of the Plant-Based Ads family. All right, so if you've been following me lately, you know we're doing the starch solution. And the starch solution is a way of eating where you eat high carb, low fat, uh, it's worked for me. I've lost 25 pounds on it. If you're interested in a supportive group of people that are doing the starch solution, check out our Facebook group, Plant Based Dads Starch Solution Enthusiast. On there, you'll find all sorts of people who have done the starch solution, who are doing the starch solution, who haven't yet done it but want to do it. Uh, it's just a mixture of people who are, have some type of interest in the starch solution. All right, so today's recipe is right out of the starch solution, page 311, and it's the starch solution banana bread. The version of banana bread they use here, uh, instead of using oil in it because, you know, it's an oil-free diet, they use uh, something called SunSweet Lighter Bake. And what SunSweet Lighter Bake is, it's pureed prunes. And I went on the website because I couldn't find this anywhere. They've just put the recipe right on the website. It's a bunch of prunes and some water and pureed together. So you can just make it yourself. So in this book, throughout the book, you'll see him refer to SunSweet Lighter Bake. All that is, is pureed prune. Now, I posted this on Instagram and some smart person said to me, uh, I just use uh, pruned baby food, pureed pruned baby food. I'm like, here I am mixing it up myself and it's already out there and baby food is, is usually got nothing in it but you know the prunes. So that's a good idea also. The prunes take the place of the fat. So they're, it's really important in the recipe because we're not using oil. That's the whole point of the high carb, low fat diet the starch solution, right? All right, so here's everything you wanna know about making this recipe. I made it right out of the book, the way it says, and it came out perfect, and it'll work for you too. Here's what I did. First, I made the prune puree. In a small food processor, I put one and a third cups of pitted prunes. I added six tablespoons of hot water. I put on the lid and process it until smooth, er, uh, until mushy. Next, I started on the banana bread. In a small bowl, I combined one tablespoon of powdered egg replacer, one quarter of a cup of warm water. Then I mix it until it was frothy. I set it aside. In another bowl or measuring cup, I used three quarters of a cup of plant milk. Then I added one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice and I whisked it together. This mixture will thicken as it sits. I set this bowl aside. In a medium mixing bowl, I added one cup of mashed ripe bananas. Then I added three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, a third of a cup of the pureed prunes that we just made, and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. I mixed that all together until it was well combined. Then I set this bowl aside also. The countertop's getting busy. In another bowl, this time a large bowl, I added a half a cup of whole wheat pastry flour. I just used whole wheat bread flour. One cup of unbleached all-purpose flour. One teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I whisked it all together until it was combined. I also added one quarter of cup of chopped nuts. These are optional but I decided to put them in. Next, I added the egg replacer mixture that we made earlier. Then I added the banana mixture that we made earlier. And then the plant milk mixture that we made earlier. I mixed it all together till it was combined. Then I got out my loaf pan. This is not in the book, but you should totally do this. I created a parchment paper sling for easy removal. Seriously. I poured the mixture into the pan and leveled it off. I tossed the loaf pan into a preheated oven at 350 degrees. Then I let it bake until a wooden toothpick came out clean. I baked it for one hour because I like my banana bread to be fully cooked inside. If you like a little banana mushiness, cook it for 45 minutes. I'm not a big fan of that. When it was done, I let it cool for one hour. Removal from the pan was simple because of the sling we made. And I just peeled the paper off the sides. Use a good bread knife to cut the banana bread. And here you can see it's nicely cooked and moist. This may look dry in the camera, but I assure you, it's moist. And here we have it, guys. Look at this beautiful banana bread. This loaf has my name all over it. It's snack time, baby. 
All right, guys, there we have it. You can see here that it's absolutely beautiful. It's got that brownish, prunish color. Um, you kind of can't see it, but there's, I can see the nuts in here because I'm really standing right on top of it. It smells absolutely delicious. I can't wait to give this a try. All right, so even though this is a starch solution recipe, it's still a treat. It's something you have at the end of a meal, maybe a slice. If you eat too much of this, the sugar will slow down uh, your weight loss. The reason I like this is because if I feel like I'm, I'm eating right all day and at the end of the day, I'm, I just want a piece of sugar or if I just want a, something sweet, if I sit there and eat some chocolate chips, I'll eat the whole bag, right? So something like this, this is on the diet, right? You can't eat the whole thing, but you can absolutely cut off a slice and eat it because it doesn't have any fat in it. So this works perfect for me to have around knowing that at some point I could mess up after a really successful day. And now I don't have to worry about doing that. I could do the slice in this and I haven't messed anything up and I'm good. All right, let's see what this tastes like. All right guys, this is absolutely delicious. The interesting thing about using the prune puree instead of the oil, that you can taste very slightly the prune taste in it. It's not overwhelming and it works so well with the banana, right? Who would have thought bananas and prunes go together in a puree? It's absolutely delicious. So much better than making it with the oil. The oil doesn't contribute anything to the taste. It just gives it the fattiness so it doesn't seem so dry. The prunes actually contribute to the bread. It's delicious. I'm loving it. I could actually eat this whole loaf here and that would not be a good thing. All right, guys, that's our video for today. No fat banana bread right out of the Starch Solution book. It's amazing. Don't forget to join the uh, Facebook group, Plant Based Dad, Starch Solution Enthusiast. Please hit that like button. Show us some love. What's not to like? We've got banana bread with no fat in it, right? If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. You'll get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Monday, sometimes on Wednesdays if there's a DIY episode, and sometimes on Saturday, if we've got Baking with Tim. And leave a comment. Let us know your thoughts on banana bread. Have you made the Starch Solution banana bread? Have you tried to find that sun sweet thing but couldn't find it? Now you know how to make it, right? All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>